Some of you might have heard about Harris Tweed. Harris Tweed is a tweed cloth that's made from pure virgin wool, which is spun, dyed, and hand woven in the Isle of Harris in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland. This story isn't about Harris Tweed itself, but about a person known as Don John and the role of luck and audacity in business. Donald John Mackey has been weaving Harris Tweed for more than 45 years at Luskin Tyre on the remote island of Harris in Scotland. He works from a small shed, just like his father and grandmother used to do. And the process has not changed much over the years. Now, back in the 90s, he had seen the business decline year after year. It was very painful because the islanders depended on Harris Tweed industry to supplement the income that they get from their agricultural work. Now, when the industry was at its lowest point, he was only weaving one tweed every six weeks, and it provided a maximum income of about 100 pounds. The situation was just not sustainable, and they were almost on the verge of closing down when one day in 2003, Maureen, his wife, received a phone call. She takes a call and then she comes to Don John's shed and she tells him that there's some company from America called Nike who wanted to talk to him. It turned out that Nike wanted some supplies and samples, about 40 meters a month for a new model that they were testing. After sending off the samples, Don John just forgot about the phone call until one day they received an order for about 950 meters which had to be dispatched within eight weeks. The very next day, they received another email from Nike, which said, oh, we are very sorry. We made a mistake in the previous email. We need 9,500 meters of cloth to be provided within the same time frame." Now, Don John was saying that I weave only about an average of 27 yards a day, which is about 25 meters. So it would have taken me a year to produce. So there was no way I was able to stick to the time frame. But he wasn't shaken by that. Just like Nike's famous tagline, just do it. He set about mobilizing the weavers who were all there around his island. He called Derek Murray at Schauber's Mill and asked for help. Now, Derek had many weavers who had practically no work. Three months and a lot of man hours later, they completed the order. Nike was delighted and the new Terminator trainer was a huge success and they ran back for another 10,000 yards. Now, as a result, they were not only really able to respond on time and honor their com contract with Nike, they also created full-time jobs for 50 weavers. And it brought an industry and craft that was almost on the verge of disappearing back to life. Before the Nike order, there were only about 80 weavers who were left producing Harris Tweed. But the success of the range raised the popularity exponentially and opening it to a completely new audience and making Tweed cool again. There are now over 200 weavers who are producing cloth from for anything from tailored suits to cushion covers. And I really love how Natalia Alvarez summed up about the situation. Sometimes we have an opportunity to shine, to do something so much bigger than what we are expecting. And it's so big that it's scary. We can almost be tempted to say, oh, this isn't a good moment. I don't have the resources right now. I'm not ready for it. Or we can be like Don John and respond to luck with audacity and generosity. What are you doing to be ready when serendipity knocks on your door? Do share in the comments.